Happy Tuesday, Crafty Friends. Hello, everybody. I think we have a sunshiny day, maybe. It's trying to be here. Yeah, it's trying. It's going to be 69 degrees. Yes, I did not. I wore short sleeves to take the kids to school and no jacket. Hmm. I put a jacket on them because, you know, but. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't cold. No, it's, I think it's like 61 right now. But, man, Nashville got hit last night. Oh, did we were under a tornado watch till one o'clock, I think. But they actually, they seven people got killed. Oh no! Yeah, it hit downtown Nashville. You know, it's been doing that here lately. Uh huh. Last few years, anyway. Yeah. Hey, I guess we got a weather show now. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we talk about all kind of ever what. We do. We do. We do. Okay, and this video is going to be an all kind of ever what too. Oh, okay. It's going to be a. It's going to be a hop lop, as Alicia would say, of stuff. Okay, so the first thing, okay, this is going to be, it's going to jump all over the place. Just let me say that before I even get started. Okay. I, I did this um, embossing folder because I had two of them, and I don't think this one is exactly the same one. I just picked one that I knew was like the one. It's a Spellbinders, and it's one of those um, white plastic ones. And yeah. it's, it's hard. She was trying to figure out the sandwich, and she couldn't. So I messed with mine until I got the sandwich. And anyway, so this was the one that I had. And then I glazed over it. Isn't that pretty? It looks so old. Old and vintage -y. It does, because I did it on black. And then I, I actually used a pink uh, opal embossing glaze on it. But it looks gold on the black. It's, it's, I, th I think it's beautiful. Okay, so there's that. Now then, next thing. Um, okay, I'm no paper left behind. Well, let me back up a minute. I was in Walmart, and I saw these napkins. Aren't those adorable? Is it the With the bun? bunnies, yeah. Oh, my. And so I thought, oh, I'm going to make some cards with those bunnies on there. So um, there's the card. Can, let's see, let me see if you can get the, that it's completely, yeah, there you can. Completely covered in glitter. Okay, so I know this is an old technique and a million people have done it. and But they have different kinds of ways that they do it. So for this one, usually what I did was use two pieces of stick it, you know, the double-sided sticky stuff. Attach it, you know, pull the napkin apart, attach it to my piece of paper, then put another piece on the top of that, and then... You know, you just sprinkle the glitter on, it sticks over it, you burnish it in with your finger, and then you have no glitter coming off. There might be a pad right there, but I mean, it has no fall. So, um, but this one I used, I wanted to see if this beacon adhesive spray from the Dollar Tree would work. So, yeah. when I cut my this mat out, I put it in my, you know, my messy box that I spray stuff in and stuff. Oh, yeah. And I just sprayed it like, yeah, three times, two or three times. And it wasn't, you know, completely covered, but I guess that I could see. But some was misty and some was more droppy. And that was, that was fine. And, and so then I just took my napkin and gently laid it on top of it. And then patted it down so it's completely stuck. Cut it out around the edge. And then waved it around for a second. It didn't even take long. And then I used my expensive stick it and stuck it on the front of it and, and did the glitter. So I got the same result with half of the cost of the, the expensive double adhesive. So I say that's a win. And I just think that's gorgeous. And I used um, part of the paper from No Paper Left Behind. You know, I double matted it because this is actually paper, not cardstock. And I just, oh, I just love that. That will be a card, and it will have no sentiment on the outside. You know, it doesn't have to be Easter, but it could be. I, I just think it's beautiful. So, anyway, I wanted to share that with y'all. Napkins are um, fun things to use. Yes. Okay, let me put that out of the way. Then, I got a card from Marilyn, a Valentine's card thanking me for participating in her challenge. Sweet thing, will you be mine? And that's sweet. That is sweet. Sweet, Marilyn. She's just thanking me. 
So thank you, Marilyn. I love it. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And then Ty from Ty's Crafty Spot sent me something. I've already pulled it out of the bag. Let's see what Sweet Ty has to say. Aw, isn't that pretty? She's made me a Valentine's card, too. That is so pretty, Ty. Aw. Just put a sweet little note in there. She sent me some goodies. Oh, cool. Oh, boy. Look at this pretty paper. That'd make a pretty card, wouldn't it? Okay. So, she sent me some Tim Holtz cameo frames. Oh. Fun. Love those. Oh, she sent me some artsy um, book pages. Oh, y'all know I love me some vintage. And it's got twine. Look at the ladies. Thank you so much, Ty. Y'all have big fun with these. And and some Tim Holtz frames. Oh. The, okay. I have Yeah. She sure did. Oh, those are fun. You know I'll have fun creating with those. How cool. Thank you so much. And I will link Ty's channel in the description box. She's an awesome crafter. She got a, um, a Cricut and I think a new computer too for Christmas. And she has been having so much fun creating and really learning how to use it. So that's awesome. Okay, now the next thing is, okay, I'll go here. Okay, um, the first, was it, I guess it was, anyway, Kayla and I from um, Crafty Pen Pal Mama, um, I sent her some Easter baskets and some of my die cuts, and she was going to send me some of the Maggie Holmes die cuts, and... She said, she kept texting me and saying, have they come? Have they come? And I was like, no, no. And she was like, I mailed them a long time ago. I can't figure out what's going on. Y'all look at this. The postmark is February 10th. I got it yesterday. It came from South Alabama. Oh, wow. I mean, I sent something to Soleil in Australia, and it got there in four days. That's crazy. Is it, you know, where was this? It doesn't look like it was... You know, it it didn't get sent back to her. It wasn't lost. It wasn't torn up. It's in perfect condition. It was just, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm, I, it makes me wonder, where did it go? You know? Probably in the back seat of one of those postal people. Well, it <laughs> does make you wonder, doesn't it? Well, you know, I see ours just throw them in the back seat when they're picking up out of the mailbox. Yeah. Oh. I'm just showing our address like I ain't got good sense. Maybe I wasn't. I think it might have been off screen. Anyway. Uh, you, took, you took yours to the post office, though. Yeah. Yeah, I did. So, that wasn't a reason for that. But anyway, she sent me this pretty card. And let me show you these awesome die cuts. Look at the deer. Oh, they're so sweet. And, she's, and she cut one out of gingham. If I can get them out without messing up the little legs. Look at them. I love that one. I mean, I love them all, but... You know, it it always... It it tickles me, and I love... One of the biggest things I love about getting die cuts from somebody else is seeing what they cut things out of and how yeah. you can use them. Because I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Um, the butterflies that uh, Lisa sent me. Yeah. Yeah. Was it Lisa? I think so. Anyway, I made some church cards with it, and I'm going to show y'all those in a minute. I use I use what you girls send me. I do. Here's the flowers, the rose, and the cameo, and the lemons. Ah, those are amazing. And the flowers, and those are the centers, and the leaves. I'm cutting that back up. Oh, right and here's some bows. Thank you so much, Kayla. I will have big fun with these, girl. Big fun. Thank you hey. so much. So, y'all, um, you know, I'm a 
that is funny. It says somewhere over the rainbow on the back. I guess that's where it was. <laughs> I guess it was. I guess so. Okay, so then the next thing is, this month for my church cards, and I've kind of been showing you as I go, um, they requested that I make things in a, like for teenagers, you know, and younger people. And so, you know, I got to thinking that was a little bit of a challenge. But, you know, I say myself a little prayer, and then things start happening. I made all these cards this morning. Okay? <laughs> so. Much, huh? Yeah. It is 20 till 11, and yeah. I got home from taking the kids about 9 o'clock, so. And I've washed a lot of clothes. So, let's see. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I think, I think that's 20 cards. 20 or 21. Well, have I had you? Now, granted, these don't have doodles and poopaws on them. Yeah. You know, because half of them are masculine, half of them are feminine. But they don't, you know, I'm not going to put a bunch of Ray stuff on them, so their postage is iffy, and they don't get a gen... Uh, you know, heartfelt, genuine message to someone the first time. You know what I'm saying? Because of postage. So, I think this is pretty good for masculine. And I used, um, by the cabin, it was a small pad that I had gotten at Michael's last year sometime, I think. Maybe last fall. Because it was masculine. And I thought, you know, masculine's not easy to come by. But anyway, it also had cut aparts that had Perfect sentiments, I think, for encouragement and, you know, the kind of cards they're looking for. So, there's that one. And on the insides, you know, I put a little strip. So, I'll just show you the outsides. That one says, Inspire, Dream, Amaze, Achieve, and Hustle. This one says, Don't shade, shine. Embrace the change. It's all about this. Life is now. Keep dreaming and doing. Make it count. Enjoy all of it. Run the day. Now's the time. Do it. That's right. You got this. Do the impossible. Thrive. Be glad. Own it. Chin up. Do all things with love and great care. Now is the time to live out your dreams. Invest in yourself. Now or never. Today is the day. There were two of those. And then this one goes this one. It says, as soon as I saw you, I knew an adventure was going to happen. Wouldn't that be good for an encouragement card? Oh, yeah. And this says the same thing. And this one says, you are braver, stronger, and smarter than you think. That's good encouragement. And that says the same thing. Okay, and so here's the butterfly cards. And I combined them with some of the paper from No Paper Left Behind. This square here and this sentiment. And it says, enjoy today. So this card could be sent to uh, pretty much any female. You know, it's got a beautiful butterfly. And it's got a little bit of sparkle. But it's simple. You know, and it could be looking forward to an event. It could be encouragement. It could be, you know, a special occasion. Whatever. This one says happy day. You know, you can go lots of places with that. This one says love you. Because, you know, we love all our brothers and sisters. Or we should. This one says smile. That's encouraging. And on the inside of these, I put a little something that goes with the collection that brings that coral into it, if it has coral in it. This one says smile. It's got that in there, too. So, those are good. Now, girls, the list of things that I have to do today. Well, I don't have to do them all today, but I have myself quite the list going of, you know, challenges that I want to enter and... Um, fun stuff, and uh, you know, I need to make some more die cuts and fill some holes. And um, I got I got a fun list going over here, of things to do. But I wanted to, I need to do some VRs. You were gonna be busy today, girl. I know. Well, you know, I wasn't here yesterday. I had to do that that's one right. from the car. <laughs> so yeah, that's true. so I didn't get any any kind of crafting anything done yesterday, and um. 
you know, I wanted to take care of these for the church. So I've got a hundred in the bag over there. So they're ready to go. So maybe I can deliver those tomorrow. And um, I might draw some antennas on those butterflies. I think I will. Anyway, so, so that was, you know, that's always number one on my list to take care of that. Church park. Yeah. Right. And, um, and then everything else will fall into place. So, that's where I am right now. I'll be back later with a VR or two or three or four. So, y'all have a, a super crafty day. And I hope the sun's shining wherever you are. And I'll be talking to you later. Love you guys. Blessings. Bye.